and uh, Wakefield have reached tackle number five this latest set. So again, the kick from Finn. This is a bit more delicate. Barber's after this. The ball is knocked backwards, and it's still on the last tackle because it was knocked back by Wakefield. Grips with a ding to the in-goal area. Makinson's lost it. Tupu's got it, and Bill Tupu gets the first try for Wakefield. Penalty, which in all probability he will and does. <laughs> Graham and Johnny Lomax who won the Player of the Year title. That's a great kick from Richardson. Was that a 40-20? Yeah, is that a 40-20 from Richardson? It is. On the fourth tackle as well. What a kick from the young man. No high tackle. The signal high tackle. Richardson to Wilkin. Taya taking on Liam Finn, taking on Kermond. Oh! Randall's there as well, getting St. Helens to within half a metre of the line. Roby is the dummy half. Back it comes to Richardson. Richardson, good ball. Louis McCarthy, Scarsbrook gets over the line for the St. Helens try. Well, Richardson's 40-20 has reaped wonderful reward here. That's the reason why maybe he has been thrust into the limelight tonight, the 20-year-old. But Louis McCarthy, Scarsbrook takes his tally to five for the season. He was a try-scoring substitute here in July as well when the Saints won 41-16. Well, the young half-back Danny Richardson takes control, puts the ball all the way up the field, earns his side a 40-20. Then from the penalty, a lunging arm from Anthony England. It's taken some fresh legs to run into the right spaces for Saints to get edge the way into this game. Lovely ball from Danny Richardson again, who's having a growing influence. Well, they're good on the breakdown, Saints. They play what's in front of them. And here they go. Here goes Bill Tupu of Wakefield. He's gone inside Barber. He's got the legs on Barber. Look at this from Bill Tupu. What a try from Bill Tupu. His second of the match. The top, as you'll see here, of Percival. So are they able to listen to the video referee here? Is that what the referee's okay. doing? Yeah, he's had some information. And as I said, I think it's going to be a simian because it's clear pressure on the back of the neck. And it'll be looked at by the match review panel. So one in the Leeds whole game last week, very similar to that. And St. Helens do have to score twice now. Could have been a penalty then from England. Roby darting at the line, gets it away to Wormsley, back to Theo Farge, it's opened up for Theo Farge! St. Helens are back in the hunt. Theo Farge grounds his comeback, having been left out last week, ending a ten-game run. He's come back here tonight and he's grabbed the try. Theo Farge, the French international, throws St. Helens a playoff lifeline. Eddie, good at defence. Gets them the ball back in decent field position. Then it was all Route 1 rugby. Straight up the gut. Men pushing up into the next hole. All the support runners are options. They didn't have that. They weren't winning that midfield battle early on in this game. But there's a different intensity. Uh, which he does. It's 16-12. Dead as well. But he wants the two points. And Liam Finn has hit the post, and it bounces back and straight to Mark Percival. So the drama isn't over yet. Here goes Roby. Roby finds Louis McCarthy, Scarsbrook. That's the last tackle, though. They're only just over halfway. Farge have to be inventive here with Richardson. Now with Barber. And Barber gets the ball away somehow to Peru. Peru then to Richardson. Richardson gives it then to Thompson. Thompson gets the ball away, it's on the ground, picked up by Theo Farge. Here is Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook, now it's Zeb Taya. Taya goes wide to Percival, Percival down the line, through the legs of Scott Griggs. Oh! 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 It's a try for Lomax! It could be a try for Lomax! It is almost a wide to west moment for St. Helens. They have a try on the field. And this not only could be just a point for St. Helens, it could be a win for St. Helens. The decision on the field is a try. There's so much to look at. It went through so many pairs of hands. That is immaterial now as James Chai looks at the replay. Stuart Cummings, what's the decision, do you think? Well, the check the onside, clearly onside, everybody. Kick is the first, uh, the foremost player. 
So it comes down to the grounding. Is it down there the first time? Well, Scott Griggs here. drops on it, surely. No, he doesn't. He gets right. a boot so to that it. ball's kicked back, so we play on from here. There's no touch by anybody else. The try, Stuart. There's just the grounding there. Not a problem. That's a try. Lomax has come up with the rescue package for St. Helens. I told you, Eddie, they were going to open it up. Why didn't Scott Griggs just drop on that ball, grounded in goal? Well, if it he had his time question. again, he would do. forevermore. Yeah. Lomax with the try for St Helens, not been given yet, but surely this is going to be given. James Child presses the button, and Saints are level with a kick to come. Possibly this to go ahead for the first time tonight. St Helens take the lead with a minute and a half remaining. The great escape.